I'm Melissa Brown. I make prints. I teach printmaking at Lehman College. Sometimes I make prints with a steamroller, very large woodcuts. I make um, paintings. Uh, in the past, I've done projects where I've tried to win the lottery with a lot of people. I'm still working on that problem. Um, I've done a lot of uh, postcard and mail projects where I, I basically set up some kind of system where I can include strangers or have some kind of exchange with people I don't know. I make playing cards that are sort of based on fortune telling. Lost Billery is busted as gay on Brangelina. <laughs> But basically the idea in a nutshell is like, it, I, you know, Dotto Lotto, it's, it's just a lot, you know, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's like, a, it's connect the dot drawings with no numbers, so you don't know, the response is unknown, so that's why it's a lottery, I guess. Um, but, you know, the, the, this, is, this is the older version, business reply mail, permit number five. Uh, I did this in 2005. Um, so, the, you know, when I first, like, I handed them out to people and then I also stuffed them in magazines anonymously. And I did that with this project too. So this, this is the newer Dotto Lotto business reply mail card and I, and they look like just what you would see in a regular old magazine. And I went around to magazine shops and stuffed them in to magazines and I was like strategic I, I tried to be a little bit strategic about the page they were on like I would maybe put them on put a whole stack of them on a page about you know Paris Hilton because I know it was like an appealing page and then someone could find my little card there and then draw it and then I gave you know the business reply mail allows them to send it back free of charge <laughs> Um, so in chronological order, the very first interaction with the male, anonymous, you know, trying to get people that I don't know to write back to me was in Rome. These postcards are here. Sort of, it may be hard to see in the, in the video, but a slightly more apocalyptic version of the Roman Forum. A little bit more on, ominous took photo, added some UFOs, some crowds of people running into the distance, some very faintly visible uh, futuristic towers, and then this sort of ominous background, which looks a lot like, you know, your typical fake post postcard backgrounds. And then stuffed them into uh, postcard racks around Rome that, and pre-stamped them. And people wrote back. I like the idea that it's it's this like consummated negotiation with someone I don't know. Like I left this card out in in public and gave someone the method to communicate back with me. And so someone who doesn't know me know me at all finds the card, thinks it's interesting enough to respond and then sends it to me and it's sort of like the fact that it goes through the US mail system makes it official. It certifies it. There's always something interesting to me about this like anonymous exchange. So, hi, I don't know you. I'm an Italian boy, 24 years old, from Rome. I found this postcard just wrote by unknown people, so I decided to send you this same. So it's sort of like he introduces himself. Other people have different things to say. Your friend is a bad guy. Basically now I'm like, I scanned them all in one way and then I edited them in another. And I'm trying to put them together now so in the way that I edited them. But basically, so I'm separating, I want the, the animation to be from minimal drawing to maximal drawing. So I'm basically separating out just the decision of coloring inside the dots versus all around the dots. <laughs> So it's like totally filling the square or just filling the center of the dot.
Like, here's a funny one. It, like, they made it into a character. So, in, like, most people have, like, a geometric kind of response, but sometimes people will see a character in it. Like, this is, I see this as, like, a duck with a little crown. I think that's funny. <laughs> And I like it when people kind of add their own characters around the geometry. It's like, it's funny because it's like most people have this like, it's this very, you know, beautiful geometry that people color in, but then some people put their own little narrative around it and I think that's awesome. This is basically like minimal drawing and the, it, it kind of all starts with this. Like the, the simplest line drawing. Like progressively getting more complicated. Within that, they're organized by like similar symbol. So there's like a whole bunch of pizzas together. Different versions of a pizza. There's even more than this. I love that face. Irving. It's like a weird monster looking at its toe. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing that they were in the same class. Samuel, Yanyo, and Julio were all in the same class. I think probably one person drew Michael Jackson and then they all realized that that was a great idea. <laughs> This, this is another little tween. This one connects Brian Balot to um, John, Jonathan Ehrenberg's drawings. And, and mine in between. So there are little moments of like longer collaborations between artists. 